If you're experiencing stutters and FPS drops in your favorite games, have you ever checked if your CPU and GPU are running properly? Sometimes your CPU is working too hard while your GPU is hardly being used. In this video, we'll do proven tweaks to balance both CPU and GPU usage so you never face stutters or FPS drops again. These simple fixes will unlock your PC's true power and make your gameplay smoother than ever. Let's get started. What's to with the lag and hyping while you play games so guys you need gear up booster this is the ultimate tool to lower your ping boost stability and give you zero lag pro players like asian jeff and polarized use it to stay ahead so why not you download gear up booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match step one fix high cpu usage with system configuration tweaks high cpu usage isn't always a sign of a weak processor Sometimes, Windows itself holds your system back. By default, Windows may not use all CPU cores during startup and runs many background services even when unnecessary. These factors can cause CPU usage to spike before you launch a game, stressing your processor before heavy in-game tasks begin. This causes stuttering, lag spikes, and reduced frame rates. In this step, we'll adjust system settings to ensure your CPU is fully utilized from the start while cutting out unnecessary processes that drain performance. To begin, open the Windows search bar and type System Configuration and click it from the search results. Inside the tool, head to the Boot tab and click on the Advanced Options button. In this window, find the section labeled Number of Processors and tick the checkbox next to it to enable manual selection. From the drop down, choose the highest number available, whether that's 4, 8, 12, 16, or more, depending on your CPU. This forces Windows to use all available cores right at startup, improving boot speed and ensuring your CPU runs at full strength immediately. Click OK, then return to the main system configuration window. Now, switch to the Services tab. At the bottom, tick the box for Hide All Microsoft Services so you don't disable anything critical to Windows. You'll now see only third-party services. Go through the list and disable anything non-essential or unrelated to your GPU, drivers, or system monitoring. This includes things like update checkers, third-party launchers, or background apps that quietly consume CPU power. Once you've unchecked the unnecessary services, click Apply and OK, then restart your PC to apply the changes. After applying this tweak, your CPU will boot faster, have more free resources available, and maintain steady performance in games without being slowed down by hidden background tasks. You'll notice smoother gameplay, higher FPS stability, and fewer random lag spikes. Step 2. Fix low GPU usage with NVIDIA control panel tweaks. A low GPU usage problem often isn't about weak hardware, it's about your graphics card not getting the right instructions from its driver. NVIDIA's default settings are balanced for general use, not specifically for gaming, which can cause lowered clock speeds, delayed frame rendering, and added latency, leading to stutters and frame drops. The NVIDIA control panel hides powerful options that control how your GPU behaves under load. By adjusting these settings, you can ensure your graphics card runs at its best, fully utilizing its power for maximum FPS and responsiveness. To start, open the NVIDIA control panel. In the left sidebar, click on Manage 3D Settings. This is where most of the important performance configurations are located. Under the Global Settings tab, make the following changes. Low Latency Mode. Set this to Ultra. This reduces the delay between your input and what you see on screen, giving you more responsive controls, especially important for competitive or fast-paced games. Power Management Mode. Change this to prefer maximum performance. This keeps your GPU running at higher clock speeds at all times, avoiding sudden drops in performance when the load changes. OpenGL Rendering GPU. If you use OpenGL-based apps or games, select your dedicated NVIDIA GPU here, so all rendering work is assigned to the correct processor. Vertical Sync, V-Sync. Set this to off to remove frame rate limits and reduce input lag. If you notice screen tearing, you can experiment with adaptive V-Sync for smoother visuals without heavy input delay. 
Once you've made these changes, click apply at the bottom to save your settings. From now on, your GPU will stay in high performance mode, render frames more efficiently and respond faster to your inputs. After applying this tweak, you'll experience higher and more stable GPU usage, improved FPS in demanding games, and a much smoother overall gaming experience without sudden performance dips. Step 3. Fix high CPU usage and low GPU usage with the Tested Optimization Pack. High CPU usage combined with low GPU utilization is a common issue that Windows settings alone can't fully fix. Windows sometimes mismanages task assignment between your CPU and GPU, causing your processor to max out while the graphics card stays underused. This imbalance leads to stutters, unstable FPS, and poor gaming performance. To fix this, you need an optimization pack designed to target both issues together. These tweaks balance workloads, improve thread management, and prioritize hardware processes for smoother, more stable gaming. Start by visiting my official website, uptopacks.com. Navigate to the FPS Boost section and find the post with the same title and thumbnail as this video. It's easy to spot. Scroll down until you see the direct download link for the full optimization pack. There are no pop-ups or extra steps. Download and extract the pack on your PC. Open the CPU optimization folder first. Inside, you'll find several registry files and scripts designed to fine-tune your CPU's responsiveness, improve how background tasks are handled, and reduce unnecessary CPU load during gaming. It's important to install each file one by one without skipping any, since every tweak plays a specific role in managing high CPU usage effectively. After finishing this, open the CPU priority folder. It contains two subfolders, one for Intel processors and one for AMD. Open the folder that matches your CPU brand and run the optimization file inside. This file automatically sets your system to prioritize real-time gaming processes while reducing CPU pressure from background apps, balancing system resources efficiently for better gaming performance. Next, go to the GPU Registry Tweaks folder in the pack. You will find a file called Gaming Performance Registry. Double-click it to launch the prompt, select Yes to confirm, and hit OK to apply. This base tweak improves GPU behavior system-wide. Then you'll notice two more files, low-medium optimization and medium-high optimization. For budget or mid-range GPUs, use the low-medium file. For more powerful hardware, select the medium-high option. If you're unsure which fits your setup best, feel free to comment and I'll assist you. For this guide, use low medium optimization. Double click it, confirm with yes, and finalize by clicking OK. After that, open the GPU thread tweaks folder. Inside, you'll find registry tweaks tailored to specific GPU brands, AMD, Intel, and Nvidia. Choose the one that matches your GPU. For NVIDIA users, apply the file named NVIDIA Thread Optimization. Simply double-click it, confirm both prompts by selecting Yes twice, and click OK to complete. These tweaks enhance multi-threaded GPU workload management, which reduces stuttering and improves GPU utilization in games. Once these steps are done, your GPU will handle parallel processing tasks more efficiently, showing higher utilization and smoother performance during gaming. Now it's time to use the quick CPU tool included in the pack. If you're experiencing unstable FPS, input delays, or your CPU maxing in out too fast, this tool is crucial. Launch quick CPU, and you'll see a drop-down for your system power plan. Select ultimate performance here, this plan disables power saving restrictions, allowing your processor to run at full capacity all the time, which results in smoother gameplay, faster response, and better FPS across the board. Go down to the core optimization sliders and adjust them as follows. Core parking, set to 100% to ensure all CPU cores remain active and none get disabled during gaming. Performance, also set to 100% to push your CPU to work at full output without throttling. Frequency scaling, set to 100% so your CPU maintains maximum clock speeds even under load. 
Turbo Boost, move to 100% to let your processor exceed base clocks when extra power is needed. After making these adjustments, click Apply, then OK to lock the settings in place. Next, click on Advanced CPU Settings and make sure the following options are enabled. Turbo Boost to allow temporary CPU overclocking during heavy workloads. Enhanced Intel Speed Step Technology EIST to enable better performance scaling by adjusting speed based on demand without compromising responsiveness. Turbo power limits should be turned on to give your CPU permission to draw maximum power and thermal headroom when needed. When you're done, simply close Quick CPU and the changes will apply automatically. These tweaks help your CPU respond faster, multitask better, and keep stable performance without spiking to 100% unnecessarily during gaming. Finally, to fix low GPU usage, find the MSI Mode Utility tool inside the pack. Right-click on it and choose Run as Administrator. This is essential because the tool needs full access to modify low-level device behavior. Inside, locate your GPU under the Display Adapter section. There are two important tweaks to apply here. Enable MSI mode. This replaces old interrupt signaling with a faster, message-based system between CPU and GPU. This improves real-time responsiveness and lowers micro-latency during gameplay. Set interrupt priority to high. This prioritizes GPU tasks over non-critical system processes, helping your graphics card stay fully active under load. After applying both, hit apply to save your changes. Once complete, your system will properly prioritize GPU tasks, reducing FPS dips and increasing GPU load for a smoother gaming experience overall. To get started with Gear Up Booster, Download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, Return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 4. Fix low GPU usage with advanced Windows graphics settings. Sometimes, even a powerful GPU feels underused because Windows doesn't properly manage how games are assigned to graphics processors. Games may default to integrated graphics, or key system features that optimize GPU scheduling might be disabled. This leads to low GPU usage, causing poor frame rates, stuttering, and choppy gameplay. Fortunately, Windows includes built-in graphics settings you can tweak to force games to use your dedicated GPU and enable a hidden scheduling feature that improves real-time rendering. This simple step effectively boosts GPU performance and smooths frame pacing in games. To begin, right-click anywhere on your desktop and select Display Settings. Scroll down until you see Graphics Settings under the Related Settings section and click it. This opens a panel dedicated to managing GPU behavior for different apps and games. At the top of this window, look for Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. If this option is available on your PC, switch it on. Enabling this allows Windows to offload certain rendering processes directly to your GPU instead of the CPU, which reduces latency and improves efficiency, especially noticeable in newer titles that benefit from smoother graphics processing. Next, you need to manually assign your games to use your dedicated GPU in high performance mode. In the same graphics settings panel, under Choose an app to set preference, open the drop-down menu and select Desktop app.
Then click browse and locate your game's executable file. For example, to optimize Fortnite, navigate to Fortnite game binaries win64 and select the Fortnite client win64 shipping. Exafile. After selecting it, click add. Once added, click options next to the game's name. A small window will pop up with three options. Choose high performance and click save. This setting forces Windows to use your dedicated GPU instead of integrated graphics when running the game. Repeat this process for any other games you want optimized, such as Counter-Strike 2, Valorant, or any other titles you play. Assigning each game to high performance ensures full GPU utilization and prevents Windows from defaulting to less powerful graphics modes. After completing these tweaks, your GPU will be prioritized correctly for gaming, leading to improved utilization, higher FPS, and a significant reduction in stutters and slowdowns during gameplay. Step 5. Fix high CPU usage by disabling power, throttling. One major but often overlooked reason your CPU stays unnecessarily busy during gaming is a hidden Windows feature called Power Throttling. Designed to save battery by reducing CPU performance during background tasks, it works well for laptops on battery, but can severely limit your processor's speed on desktops or plugged-in laptops right when you need full power. This causes choppy gameplay, unstable frame pacing and CPU usage hitting 100% while the GPU sits idle. Disabling power, throttling permanently ensures your CPU runs at full potential during gaming, free from these energy saving limits. To disable it, press Windows plus RR to open the run dialog box. Type gpdit.msc and press enter to launch the local group policy editor. In the editor, navigate through the left-hand menu to this path. Computer configuration, administrative templates, system, power management, power throttling settings. Once inside this section, double-click the setting named Turn Off Power Throttling. A new window will open. Change the setting to Enabled, then click Apply and OK to save the change. This permanently disables power throttling on your system. After applying this tweak, your CPU will no longer be slowed down by unnecessary power saving rules during gaming. This leads to significantly lower CPU usage, improved responsiveness, and a more stable overall system performance that supports smoother gameplay and higher FPS. Alright guys, that wraps up today's full optimization guide. If you found this helpful and want to boost your gaming performance, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more powerful tips coming your way. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care and happy gaming.